हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कैट प्रैक्टिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द थ्री डी मॉडल ऑफ पिस्टन हेड इन ऑटोडेस्क इन्वेंटर सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टुडे ट्यूटोरियल गो टू न्यू टेक अ स्टैंडर्ड पार्ट इन मिलीमीटर एंड क्रिएट नाउ गो टू टू डी स्केच एंड सेलेक्ट द एक्स वाई प्लेन नाउ go to line command from here make first maker of sketch of outer profile uh and close it here okay now go to dimensions first give this dimension as 63.5 okay zoom out now the total height will be 82 and this width will be of 20 and this bottom width will be of 6.5 okay now it's a moving sketch to make it constrain go to horizontal constrain select the center point and select this line point okay now go to vertical constraint select center point and this point okay now the sketch is fully constrained we will make one more line go to line command from here make it construction geometry from this point make a random line okay Escape. This is for revolution. Finish sketch. Now go to revolve command. This profile is selected. The axis will be this. Okay. And from here, okay. Now we will change the material. We'll give it as machine two. Okay. Now you can see the inner profile. For inner profile, go to view. Go to quarter section view. And from origin, we we'll select the X Y plane. Okay, so you can see the cut profile inside. Now we want to make the other profiles. So from here, exit section view. To make the inner profiles, we will change the view. from here go to view uh, visual style and change it to wireframe front view now you can see the inner section for the cut lines now go to sketch and go to 2d sketch i'll change the view and show you we'll select the xy plane okay now go to rectangle command and select Two point rectangle. Select this line and make a rectangle. Go to dimensions. The vertical dimension will be three point eight, and the horizontal dimension will be two point five. Okay. From top, this rectangle will be at a distance of seven point seven. Okay. now from here make a line command from center point make one more line escape select this line and make it a construction geometry finish sketch now go to 3d model and select revolve command select this profile to revolve and the axis of rotation will be this center axis change the view visual style and go to shaded with edges as you can see it is constructing a new profile but we want to cut the profile for piston rings so from here select cut and okay now you can see the cut here we want three number of cuts from here 
go to rectangular pattern select revolve to direction 1 for direction 1 we will select the y axis to show you we will select the y axis it's the center axis rotate uh, we will flip the direction and from here give a count of 3 and the distance between will be 7.6 and ok ok the slot for 3 rings now rotate it we will construct the inner profiles so first we will make a cut here so go to xy plane create sketch change the view change it to wireframe once again ok now go to sketch select the rectangle make a rectangle over here and give the dimensions height of this rectangle will be ok height will be defined from top so go to dimension from top the height will be at 38 and this width will be 76 ok <clears throat> escape now this is moving so first go to vertical constraint select the center point of this rectangle and select this center point it is vertically aligned now go to coincident select this line and select this center point <coughs> now this is fully constrained sketch finish sketch go to home select the extrude command select symmetrical extrude and go to cut drag this cursor outside change the view change it to shaded edges so you can see the cut profile and ok now change to front view this will be the final profile now rotate this and select the inner surface and go to create sketch ok now from here rotate the view this will remain like this the cuts will remain at side ok now go to rectangle command and select two point center rectangle make a rectangle over here give the dimensions the vertical dimension will be 50 mm and the height and the horizontal dimension 90 ok now the distance from center point will be at 16 mm now we will align it horizontal constraint center point center point of ok it will be take vertical constraint vertical constraint center point and here center point of rectangle ok now fully constrained sketch go to line command once again from here make a reference line escape select this line and make it construction now mirror this profile go to mirror select this profile select mirror line and select center line apply ok now finish sketch and from 3d model select extrude command change the view select these profiles ok we will extrude it up to 62mm front view this will be in the same line 
the join will be here and ok now select this face and go to create sketch select the circle command and make a circle over here of 25.5 the distance from bottom will be 25.5 go to vertical alignment vertical constraint center point of circle and center point of sketch escape now finish sketch go to extrude command flip the direction symmetric extrude drag it outside from here take cut and ok this will be a through cut this also cut profile and this also cut profile over here also now we will give the radius select this side edge go to fillet and give a radius of 12.5 mm similarly select this edge this edge and this edge apply now take a radius of 10 mm select the corner edges bottom edges this edge 10 mm radius similarly this edge this edge and this edge apply <coughs> Now take a radius of 5 mm and select the inner profiles or oh, this change it like this this edge this here okay side profiles this side rotate it and here select this this one more rotation now this and this ok so this complete and apply now select this edge and this edge and select the inner profile complete profile ok rotate it ok and apply rotate the view now all fillets are complete so this is the final model of piston head in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.